a look live in one awesome world and everyone that comes with it. I am here today to bring you a very good Thursday and since this week's theme is accents, I decided to talk with an English accent because Fraser told me I had to. Laura, I was a very big Game Boy fanatic. This is actually my brother's. Um, this is mine. Uh, I liked having the purple one. It was like see-through. And then my brother had the yellow. Um, in the back you can see that I last played Pokemon Blue and my brother last played Pokemon Red. Um, other games I had, Pokemon Yellow, uh, Pokemon Pinball, um, Pro Bean Mex, Crazy Castle with Bugs Bunny, and A Bug's Life. And yeah, that's pretty much all the games I had, but I absolutely loved Pokemon, and my brother and I had connector cords, and we would always trade and battle our Pokemon, so it was lots of fun. Fraser asked what weapon we would bring to an arena with monsters there and stuff, and I would bring monster repellent, because therefore they could never get me. Josh, you made me very sad because I was looking very forward to your singing and that did not happen. So we talked, so I know what's going on. Don't worry, we're all good. Um, I think that you've been punished enough with that singing, so I'm not going to punish you. Fraser, okay, so I'm doing your English accent for you. And your video today on your channel was absolutely hilarious. Like, it was hilarious. Everyone, if you have not seen Fraser's video today, go look in the sidebar. It is brilliant. Jess, I loved your shirt. Thank you for subbing for James. That was awesome. James, I'm very sorry that your internet is down. That's a shame. Shona, that was an accent fail. <laughs> but I love you anyway. Not like I could do it, so don't even worry. Matt, I'm so proud of you for manning up and doing the video anyway, you know, um, right on for you. You might be wondering why I'm wearing this. Well, last night I graduated from IB. IB is the um, high school program that I was in. It's, for those of you living in the United States, it's sort of like AP classes except it's international. It stands for International Baccalaureate and um, I just graduated last night as a full IB candidate so I'm very excited. I might be getting my diploma if I got all my scores correct and whatnot. So yay for that. I'm done. I graduate next Thursday, a week from today. So I'm very excited. Um, actually, tell you the truth, it is actually Wednesday today, like right now, it's about 9.46 at night, and I'm leaving at 5.30 in the morning tomorrow morning, Thursday morning, to go to Disneyland and Universal Studios for my senior trip. This is something I really have to show you. Um, this year, I was yearbook editor for our school, and um, this is the yearbook. It came out today. Um, it has a cover on it, so that's why it's shiny, um, otherwise it wouldn't be shiny. The, um, this is the Silver M for Modesto High School, and um, it's personalised down there, see? With my year and everything, and the reason it says Action Speak is because that is the theme. Before I say goodbye, I just want to say um, that I'm very sorry if I butchered this accent. It was a very hard accent to do. I actually had to read some Harry Potter out loud before I could even start this video. Otherwise, I probably would have been like I was in the video where I did Shona's accent. Or I did an Indian accent, actually. One last thing. I'm going to have to go into an American accent for this because it's just too difficult to do with an English one. My challenge for everyone to do this week is speak whale. Now, I'm hoping you've all seen Finding Nemo, so you know what I'm talking about, where Dory speaks whale. So for a part of your video, you have to speak whale. 
Okay? My name is Lauren. Speak well for me. Okay? It's there. That was mine. Bye, Clive. Bye, Monosome World. Bye, everybody. Um, it was great to be here with my little English accent, and I hope it was all right. There were probably lots of times where I didn't even sound English, but you know what? I don't care. All right.